the introduction of the GRDB's findings relative to the viability of using a blend of rice and wheat and flour for breads, pastries, condiments, and even alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks has been getting rave reviews. At a simple ceremony, the GRDB rolled out its opportunities for the use of blended flour using a mix of 20% rice flour and 80% wheat and flour, the results of two years of research by its research arm at Burma. The event provided an opportunities for those in attendance to sample the fear, all of which was made from this proven blend of flowers. Among those sampling were representatives from popular bakeries in Georgetown, including Graham's Bakery and Bakewell. Speaking of his impressions of what was on offer and the opportunities for the use of blended flour, operations manager of the National Flour Mill, Nomilko, Mr. Ralph Hemsing, said he found the products to be surprisingly good. Really impressive to see the different products available uh, made with rice. Also, the product offered, and I went through, oh, I think, all of them, and find that the rice flour has some merit to uh, become uh, a niche product together with uh, wheat and flour. It is obvious that you can make nice, probably cakes. It's good for the, the pastry. I must say that's impressed me the most. I've tried the bread. The bread was I had a decent uh, uh, high volume and texture. The operations manager was also loud in his praise of the taste of the drink, which was an offer. I tasted the drink made with the rice flour, and I was very pleasantly surprised. It had a fantastic taste. I asked for the name and the recipe. The name already I forget. It was a bit strange, but. Uh, I must say that was really nice, and uh, same with the, with the pastries. And I think it's a very good combination indeed. If you have that rice drink and a uh, pastry made with rice flour. Earlier, during the formal aspect of the program, Minister within the Ministry of Agriculture, Ms. Valerie Adams Yearwood, spoke of the opportunities now available for persons to cash in on what could be a niche market for products made from a blend of rice flour and wheat and flour. It is my view that in order to truly maximize the economic benefits derived from rice production, the development of value-added rice products is necessary. Economically, reintroducing rice flour into the market, which result in a decrease in the imp which will result in a decrease in the importation of wheat flour for the resulting in a reduction of Guyana's overall import bill. Value-added rice and rice-based products will also create employment and serve as an additional source of income. In his address, General Manager of the Ghana Rice Development Board, Nizam Hassan, pointed to the growing global demand for rice and rice-based products, adding that the research shows that this demand will also grow here in Guyana, and as such, the GRDB is committed to the continuation of relevant research aimed at positioning stakeholders to take advantage of the opportunities that will arise. There's a gradual but definite movement out of subsistence food pro production to a diversified market-oriented production system. A diversified market production-oriented system would involve and evolve into producing food and food products based on market requirements. Therefore, rice will not only be consumed in its traditional form, the, the traditional way in which we cook rice, you know, boil rice and we make so many different types of rice. But there will also be a need for products that are rice-based, for which um, for processing of rice, let's say as an example, rice flour, and is used for, to, to be making other products, as an example, noodles and so on, there will be um, a demand for also for such products. We have seen 
just earlier from the presentation that there are health benefits to be derived from using blended flour. That is the rice wheat blend. Because today, notwithstanding that you can have many types of blended flour, you can use for crops and blend uh, cassava to potatoes and so on. Uh, our presentation is using rice because you know we are from the rice industry. So this is one of the major benefits that have been driving and will continue to drive the development and consumption of rice-based products. These products on display are all produced overseas but are imported and is in great demand all across Guyana. These include cereals and crackers. Over the coming months, the GRDB's research team will offer technical support to those interested in engaging in the production of blended flour, utilizing the 2080 mix ratios. Support in the establishment of rice-based value-added ventures is also available and will be facilitated by the board.